Well, hey everybody, Rhino here, and it's almost Christmas. It's just a few days away. To celebrate, I went ahead and bought myself a Glaceon V-Star Special Collection box. Comes with an oversized card and a couple of promo cards, and it's actually from 2022. I happened to find a good deal on it online, and so I picked it up, and why don't we just get right into it, and let's see what's inside this box. And while I've opened the Leafeon V-Star Special Collection, I think that's the partner collection for this one, though I could be wrong, could have been something completely different. But uh, I don't remember ever seeing a Glaceon V-Star Collection before, and then uh, happened to spot it while searching online the other day, and I picked this one up for less than what I would have paid in stores back in 2022 when this first released. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this thing open right here. And so this collection comes with a V-Star marker, a code card, a Glaceon V, very nice, and a Glaceon V Star. Along with that, we have the oversized Glaceon V Star. And we have five Sword and Shield Booster Packs, Rebel Clash, two Vivid Voltage, and two Fusion Strike. We'll start with the Rebel Clash. Now, the biggest downside with some of these earlier Sword and Shield era uh, cards is that they don't have... Uh, Code card there. They don't have any of those uh, trainer galleries in there, the, the make goods for the, uh, if you have a white code card like that and you know you're not going to get a hit. So unfortunately, if you see a white code card, you may as well just start crying because you're not going to get anything good not until you start getting up into the astral radiance or the, hey, Galarian Mr. Rhyme, hey, there you go. Uh, until you get up into the astral radiance, the lost origin, those kinds of packs, you're not going to see any of those special trainer gallery cards, which are always worth a little bit. You did get some in Shining Fates, you got some of those shiny vault cards, but for the most part, these early sword and shield packs, they're a big risk, because if you get that white code card, you get nothing from it. So I'm not going to spoil this one and just instead show you the code card. Flip this over, two, three, four, and let's see what we get from here. Make it a mystery. Aromatic energy, mighty Yana. A B. Skiddo. Shuppet. Ferroseed. Joltic. Sandile. Skiddo. And a whale lord. Honestly, kind of lame for a whale lord. Only 200 HP. But uh, I guess that hydro pump's pretty cool. Vivid Voltage Packs were kind of before I had gotten back into the game, but I did know that uh, you know, they they are known for being hard to pull from. So they didn't end up being super popular when they were first coming out. I don't know if I'm wrong. Go ahead and uh, correct me in the comments. But from my understanding, Vivid Voltage was not a very popular set. It wasn't until the uh, Shining Fates came out that people started going like, oh, this is kind of neat. And Genesect! Hey, alright. I don't think I have a single Genesect card, so that's kind of cool. I do like the Pokemon. I think it was uh, widely underutilized from Gen 5 there, so unfortunate. Fusion Strike. I've got a lot of history with Fusion Strike, especially early in the channel. One of the uh, big sets that I started really collecting for. Pokemon Go was really my first big set coming back into Pokemon, but then Fusion Strike came along and I kept wanting to hunt for those. Oh, hey, Black Code card. Wanted to hunt for those Mew, and uh, there we go. Maybe I'll get another Genesect here from Fusion Strike. Schoolgirl, Turtonator, Fusion Strike, Caterpie, Shelter. There's something in here. Zeroa, Dynamo, Clavopus, Carvana, ooh, Boltant. Boltant. That's not bad, it's a V, but uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit better than a Boltant. And going into our last Fusion Strike pack here, can I pull one of those Mews from here? One of those nice big Mew. Oh, I can already see the white code card edge. I may as well just start crying now. Well, then maybe you guys can get better luck than me, but here we go. Two, three, four. Mm, spoiled the surprise. Crying, 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 crying. Am I wrong? Crying, crying, crying. I was wrong. It's a Cinderace V Max. It's a Cinderace VMAX. I thought that white code card meant that I was done, but I was wrong. Nice, nice, nice. I actually don't have this one, and I have a lot of Fusion Strike. And well, this is what I ended up pulling today. I got uh, two hits from the Cinderace and the Bolton, both from Fusion Strike, and 
I did get the Glaceon V Star and Glaceon V promos in here as well. So not a terrible pack opening day, but definitely could have been a lot better. And so in the end, I got this gift for me, a little Glaceon V Star pack and ended up getting a couple cards from it. But overall, a little bit disappointing, a little underwhelming. Hopefully Santa can bring me something else in my stocking this year and uh, I'll have some better luck with some other packs later on in 2024. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Drop a comment down below. Are you hoping to get any Pokemon cards from Santa this year? If so, tell me, what are you hoping to get? And if you haven't subscribed yet, we just surpassed 400 subscribers, which is an awesome, awesome milestone working towards that big 500, halfway to 1,000. And I'd love for you guys to be a part of my crew as we go through this journey together. That's going to do it for me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, rest of your week, and a great holiday season. I'll see you later. Rhino, out.